good morning children welcome to class 5 social studies so today we are going to start with a new lesson children the movements of the earth so first people were thinking that the earth is uh, round and it is uh, revolving uh, not around the sun children so a famous polish astronomer named nicholas copernicus children nicholas copernicus okay he is a polish astronomer children polish astronomer okay polish is a uh, the person we say uh, we are indian no children like that people from poland country are called polish astronomer means a person or a scientist who studies about the space universe planets sun and all no children they are called as astronomers so this nicholas copernicus only told that the earth rotates on its own axis and revolves around the sun children okay so i will show you with a uh, globe okay so imagine children this is your axis from north pole to south pole this axis so the earth rotates on its itself like this on its axis and if the sun is there if imagine children the sun is there in the center so the earth revolves around the sun children okay so here in your book also it is being given children okay then what happened uh, this was confirmed okay whatever the nicholas copernicus told you no know, this was confirmed by galileo galilei okay this was confirmed by galileo galilei okay galilei okay he is also uh, a scientist children what he told was the earth revolves around the sun and the sun is at the center of the solar system okay the sun is at the center of the solar system and the earth revolves around the children okay the next one this raised to two movements children okay this raised to two movements so one is rotation and the another one is revolution children one is rotation and the another one is revolution okay the one is rotation and the another one is revolution children okay so today's class we will see about the rotation so the rotation means the earth movement okay the earth is moving on its own axis children is called as rotation the earth moving on its own axis so imagine an axis over here so the earth is rotating on its own axis is called a rotation children okay then one more point see the earth is like this the sun's rays coming from this side children so which part of the earth faces the sun no it is day time children and the other part will have night time okay the other part will have night time then one more point children we say the sun rises in the east and sets in the west children why because uh, we uh, we tell like that but actually the earth rotates from west to east children so this side is west and this side is east so the earth rotates from west to east children so for us looking we uh, we tell that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west so do you know children how much time the earth takes to revolve uh, uh, rotate around it takes 24 hours children okay it takes 24 hours to rotate on itself children okay so this rotation of this earth causes only day and 
night where it gets the sunlight that part it is day as the earth moves no so it gets the other side gets night so it is a rotation basis children day and night like that it is going on okay with the earth children then what happens as the earth is tilted no children see it is not straight like this it is tilted like this so what happens when the sun's rays falls like this these place to the north pole and the south pole down no whichever uh, some places okay will not get proper sunlight children so near the equator they will get a bright sunlight children throughout the most of the day whereas in the poles they get less sunlight children and the sun's rays falling also is going to be low so what happens this place uh, when the sun's rays is maximum okay it is summer over here children when the sunlight they are not getting properly means see this place children when you imagine when you get this side sunlight this place is and all imagine they will get less sunlight only you know so what happens that will be winter children so in the polar regions this is north pole and the south pole they are polar region so the polar regions experience 6 month summer children and 4 months winter okay so these two things children you have to keep in mind so in today's class we learned about rotation children so take your textbook and read it children remaining topic we will see it in the next class children thank you